we are getting our new sofa today. It's been a week since I vlogged and I already, already feel like I've forgotten how to. Had a message from the carpenter on Sunday. He said he could come and do the shelves in here above the telly. We knew we'd be getting them done somewhat soon but we didn't we didn't think it would be happening this week. So he came on Wednesday to put in the rods um, and then he needed a day for so I don't know if you can see there's like this inside the hole is some kind of stuff that needs to set and it needs a day to set. He couldn't come yesterday to finish them so he's coming today. So yeah, it wasn't quite the plan for today um, but very exciting to get get things going in here. Doug's actually off work today. He's currently outside tidying up the garden, doing, doing some raking. Our cherry blossom tree is starting to, um, starting to lose its leaves. All of a sudden in the last week everything, oh my god look at all the cobwebs on the on the lights. All of a sudden in the last week all the trees have started to turn and it feels so so autumnal. I love it. A couple of you asked if we were going to replace this chair whether we were going to keep it or whether we were going to get a chair that matched the new sofa. I'm going to keep that one for now and then um, I'm not too sure I'm not sure what to do. So there's a there's a chair that I spotted a few months ago. I did actually order it and then my order got cancelled because they took on too many orders and they didn't have enough stock. I've seen very mixed reviews on this company and my experience hasn't been great with their customer service so I'm very torn between maybe the order was cancelled for a reason and um, <laughs> the reason was telling me not to purchase from them. The chair's going to be quite a bit bigger than this one. I think it's like 98 centimeters wide rather than I think this is 80. So our new sofa is going to be slightly longer as well so we'll play it by we'll play it by eye you can tell i've not spoken to you for a week because i have i have all the things to say doug doesn't usually have a friday off and um, he was on a training course with work this week and it was only from monday to thursday so it's off today which has worked out well where's my hat we've had the chilliest weather this week i've loved it it's been um it's been so nice this is a new jacket it's actually another piece from Olive it makes a nice alternative to my other puffer jacket. That one's very oversized and um, this one has more of a boxy, slightly, can be slightly smarter. Um, it's just a completely different look. I'll try and show you in this mirror here. It's a really nice one to throw on with some jeans. I've got it on with my Supergas. It goes nicely with slightly shorter jumpers. I keep forgetting what I was going to say. All week I've been really looking forward to having a catch up with you all. And then um, today has ended up being the first day of my period and my hair, I'm all over the place. Um, my brain isn't wanting to function um, very well today. What are we doing? We are, we're going to pop out because we have a couple of things to do. And it would also be a shame not to get out in this, um, in this lovely, lovely sunny weather. I've got, got my ticket here to collect the um, pottery that Delilah and I painted the other day some items here that I've sold in my Depop that I need to um, get sent out. So I need to go to the post office. And did you want to get coffee? Yeah. Do you want to try out that new place? Okay, can't get this over my shoulder. There's a new coffee shop in town. So we're going, oh, where's my wind muff? Will there ever be a day I don't, ha ha ha, there we go. There will come a day that I don't, don't lose this. I get proof of postage. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We've just remembered a new sushi place that's opened up. We always forget it's there. Every time we walk past it, we must try it one time. And um, so we're going to grab some lunch from there. We've got our lunch. We've both gone for katsu. Mine's the veggie katsu, so I think I've got sweet potato and some other veggie stuff. Um, Doug's gone for the, the classic chicken katsu. I'm going to try this. About half an hour when you get a higher break in school. Is that more about? That was nice. Unexpected lunch date. I'm going to say something. I keep keep forgetting what I want to say today. Can't have been that important. We're going to go home now anyway. We can't get out the road yet. Because there's a, um, a big truck dumping. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but we can't get out of the road yet. Dog's all right though. He's got his, uh, got his newspaper. We don't want to be stuck here too long. Um, because we want to be, we want to get home for the, um, for the sofa. Well, they, they did say they would call half an hour to an hour, hour before they were going to, flip to deliver. My word, I can't get my words out today. Oh, that's what I was going to say. We're actually just going to check out this, um, this new coffee shop um, that's opened all the way at the other end of town and um, we decided to get lunch instead so maybe we'll check it out um, at the weekend. Oh right we have we have lift off off home and we need to get the our old sofa we need to um, get that out of the living room to make way for the new one. Got some more laundry detergent I don't know how we're gonna how we got that through the hallway are we gonna take the legs off? I'm slightly worried we're going to end up scratching these doors, but I think we're going to take take the legs off. Anyway, hang on, let me put my take my coat off, put my bag down. I have some major hat hair. Wow! For any of you who didn't um, watch the vlog recently, where I I don't know which one it was. It was some point last last month where I explained um, briefly that we were looking to get a new sofa. We were just so uncomfortable on our current one. I underestimated how comfy back cushions made a sofa. I've said, I've said this before, it's really hard to make big decisions around the house and um, sometimes, or sometimes your taste and style change, they adapt over the years, but also I think it takes living somewhere to also um, really know what you want from um, an item of furniture and doing stuff around the house has been a very slow process. The sofas were the one thing that we bought before we moved in and it's probably the one thing we regret the most. <laughs> this one's from Made. See the cushion has um, just completely, it's just completely misshapen. But for years I've wanted a velvet sofa but um, I kind of thought that was out of the question having having a um having a little person around the house but i have to say this fabric it's very it's very textured which makes it really difficult to clean and i mean apart from the fact that my but my my bum goes numb half the time i sit on this cuz the cushion isn't very comfortable my least favorite thing about this sofa is um can you see this bit here so it's i thought it was quite a good idea when we got it it's but it's got um got velcro under the seat so I thought that was a pretty nifty idea because then it keeps the seat in place however when you sit on it the seams pull forward and on our old sofa we used to just flip the cushions over and then after a couple of days of sitting on it it would correct itself but with this one you can't do that so I'm so excited to have a so I haven't even told you what kind of sofa we're going for we've gone velvet and we've gone green. There were a few places we were looking at, so I looked on Made. I didn't want a deep, rich green. I wanted something olive or uh, something. I wanted a, a, a muted green. I had a specific green in mind and I found it on Made, um, but I emailed them and they told me that the sofa has the Velcro under the seat, so that was an instant no. And I saw one on Habitat and they've got a really lovely green sofa and it looks super squishy. And then we also found one on Swift. I'd been looking at the sofa on their website for a while and then we got talking via email and they offered to send it to us. It was the sofa we were going to get anyway um, and I, I liked the fact that you could get it within a week or two of ordering so we didn't have to wait until like after Christmas or in the new year or anything. Should we get the sofa out then? Yeah. Should we just um... <laughs> Should we talk? We're going to take this sofa to, where are we going to take it? One of the charity places. We're going to, we're going to um, give this sofa away. I'm going to get it in the kitchen, give it a clean. And then tomorrow um, we'll take it. One of the charities in town that will um, take it. I think last time, mm, when did we last have a bit of furniture that we needed to send? Because our old sofa we sold. Table. Donated. Uh, the kitchen coffee table. Coffee table, yeah. Last time when we donated when we donated the coffee table, we had to call around just to make sure um 
we will definitely have to do with this won't we? <laughs> to make sure that place somewhere has room for it and they, want, and they want it just to be clear this isn't sponsored like i said we were looking at the sofa anyway swift are not paying me to say or show anything i mean even if they were paying me which they're not i would still or what i wouldn't i wouldn't accept a product especially not especially not a sofa if i didn't love it i'd be saying and filming the exact same stuff if we had bought it with our own money i feel very grateful that they wanted to um send it to us so so excited how excited are you to have a squishy sofa mm -hmm. but i really think the green velvet will make it feel so cozy in here do you want to go back or front i also like that with the sofa we have coming today it comes in a few i think ours is coming in three boxes which means there'll be no moments like this where we have to try and get it through the door Hello. Oh, good, thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. That was a delivery delivery man um, telling us he'd be, oh, it's very bright in here, um, telling us he'd be half an hour, 45 minutes. It looks like he's turning up at that same time as the carpenter. <laughs> I'm going to get the hoover and have a little hoover of the, um, of behind the sofa. Oh, actually, I'm going to. I'm going to give the rug a brush as well. I'm just going to move the telly quick before the um, carpenter arrives. Ow! Brushing out the rug is something that I do. I don't know. I don't. Don't have a set time that I that I do it or a set amount of weeks that I do it. But usually, if I'm hoovering, I'll give it a brush. Knowing we were going to get the sofa this this week, I actually haven't bothered brushing it out for a little bit longer than I usually would leave it. I usually do it once a week, once a fortnight. Otherwise, it gets really matted, as you can probably see. There's a big difference between this part, which was under the sofa. And this part that gets um, walked on a lot. So I use this brush. I don't know where I got this from. It might have been, it might have been Amazon or John Lewis. This keeps it looking, looking nice and fluffy. My head's hurting a bit. I managed to headbutt one of those rods whilst unplugging the TV. In the winter time, we were all on a all on a nice family walk, and I somehow managed to walk into a, a branch, which then made my head bleed. <laughs> and I, I knew those rods were there, but for some reason, I just went forgetting they were there luckily i haven't made myself bleed today i wouldn't consider myself a clumsy person but then there are times that i reconsider if i am or not one of those occasions being just now I remember one of the first times i did this my heart rate must have been um quite high and i was doing this for a long time my apple watch logged this as a workout you do really have to put your <laughs> put your arm into it I'm gonna go give this a final shake outside. Isn't it one of the most satisfying things when you pull everything out, hoover and give it a good dust. So you just know that every little nook is clean. <laughs> we had to pull the whole TV cabinet out the other day. Um, we don't need to today because they just need to slot the shelves in now. They don't need to drill anything. But we had to pull that whole unit out um, and we got to have a good dust and tidy behind there as well. Which is always very satisfying, isn't it? I'm trying to do this one handed. <laughs> Because I put you, I put you on the floor, and then I realised it wasn't the, wasn't the best angle. This is this isn't really working. I might just stick, keep this out here for a bit. <laughs> it's got half the carpet to here now. Yeah. Oh no. What should we do? Should we put that in the kitchen for now? Yeah. Sofa survived. Carpenter's arrived, and um, we need to go get to like Three, and we're like, we bet they're going to turn up at three. Just to come as well. <laughs> Are you spy? Have we got shelves? Yeah. Have we got shelves? Cool. We're going to start unboxing these. We have three boxes. One of them should be... Oh, so the, the model that we've gone for is model two. And we've gone for the three-seater in the colour Vine. I'm guessing this big one is the base. We have shelves. 
he's primed them for us so all i need to do is give them um, a liquid paint and then they will be ready for me to put things on i can't wait i'm gonna do that next week and i'm gonna vlog i thought it'd be nice to go through my books and um do a do a bit of a book collection we're gonna try and get the sofa put together before we lose the light i really want to see it in all its glory whilst we've still got some natural daylight yeah the legs are in it oh do you know what we oh it's got little rubber things on the bottom on the other sofa we had um had to buy like sticky felt things for the bottom and they just come off but these are um these are quite rubbery you just screw them in We still need to put the back cushions on. Guys, these are so squishy. Yeah. <laughs> Get this one on. This is gonna be so comfy. All done. I would like to sleep on this. Would you? <laughs> so cozy. This is comfy. So it's, oh, is it 200 and, is it 208? So, or 200 centimetres. 210, I think. 210. A little bit longer than our old sofa. Not by much, but it feels a lot bigger. I'm currently lying on it, and um, <laughs> there's still plenty of room on the other end. Oh, guys, this is so comfy. I love IE sofa. Do you? Oh, <laughs> Lots of room for snuggles. You're meant to be able to wipe it clean with just a wet cloth. I don't know what else to say apart from I love it. I love it so much. Our ghosts have turned on. <laughs> these are from Etsy. Um, I should be able to leave a link for them along with the sofa as well. I bought these tea lights separately on Amazon and I didn't realise we've got them on a timer. And so um, they come on about now and turn themselves off again at about 10. I don't know how they know when to turn on and off. That means I don't have to um, turn them on myself. So they've just, they just turn on every day around this time. Look at that sunset. It never looks as good on camera as it does in person. A very pink sky tonight. Like in the last vlog, I was um, talking about how we finally fixed the clock. Um, but then the clocks went back a day later. Now it tells the wrong time again and I'm too, <laughs> too scared to touch it in case it ends up not working again. <laughs> Currently says it's 20 past five and it's actually 20 past four. We have some big boxes to clean up now i'm gonna get the living room back together i'll we'll need to save the rug it's still outside i don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of our evening um i wanted to do some do some cooking but as always we um have no idea what we're gonna have for dinner oh our rug looks so small now might as well just tuck it under now although it's gonna slide around i know you, i know you can get um you can get grippy things can't you for under rugs so that they don't slide around delilah guess what i picked up earlier do you remember what we did last week at the shop? No. Did some painting? Yeah. I picked up our thingies. Yay! Should we show you exactly what we did? I did my whole Oh, thank you. I see some more things there. How good does that look, Papa? So good. I love that. Can you see this sparkly bit? Probably not. It's um, a bit dark in here now. Look, this is Delilah's bat that she painted. Wow, it's my pumpkin. <laughs> now your lid. Wow, you need to put that on gently. Thank you. I also put sparkles on the leaves and inside. Which it you can definitely see those. It looks like a real pumpkin inside. Does it? I really like yours. It looks like a real pumpkin inside. <laughs> Yeah. Got CJ coming round in a bit to help Doug get that into his work van. See, they have a little tidy 
off of the rest of the stuff. I've been doing a bit, a bit of tidying up, washing up and um, that kind of thing. I've been getting the, um, getting hoovered and getting the TV back and um, the living room back in order. While I was trying to walk around holding this on Make Tummy, every month I am reminded that I need to find myself one of those hot water bottles that you can tie. I don't know how well it would stay up, but it would definitely be easier than trying to hold this. Oh, I can see fireworks. I can't see them, I can hear them. You cannot see them. Where have they gone? We still have a whole bowl of sweets. Actually, Doug was munching on these um, munching on these earlier. Um, but yeah, we have, we have lots of sweets left from Halloween. We ended up trick-or-treating and then well, we wanted to make sure we had things in um, for any trick-or-treaters when they came to us. But of course we were probably out for most of them. I can't have my arms because they're not um, vegetarian. I'm also not a big sweetie person. Give me chocolate any day. Um, but sweets, I'm not a huge fan of. I think Doug was saying we should have a fire. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely chilly enough. Uh, we've not really had that many. We only had a couple last month. Well, the fireworks are going again. <laughs> Watching some of the frozen shorts on Disney. We've watched them before, we've, we've watched them a lot of times. I could easily fall asleep here right now. Yeah, it's very comfy. <coughs> Picking another one. That a short one. It's called lava. I've never seen it before. Do you want this match? Yeah. Probably move these books that I've plonked here. The other day we were using these to work out where we wanted the shelves and I think I'm happy with where we decided to put them. I know some of you um, are probably going to say you should have gone for three shelves because things always look better in odd numbers which I completely agree with. I think on the rare occasion where shall I put these? Like with our kitchen shelves we only did two shelves because two felt right. I think it can work and I it, we could get away with we could get away with the third one. What I didn't want to do is have three shelves and it feel really top top heavy. Um, and also we can't really reach. If we had a third one, we wouldn't really be able to reach it. I don't know why I've sat down with these. Oh, I love the sound of the fire popping. I'm really happy with the sofa. It, it adds adds a bit of adds a bit of colour and makes it, makes it feel really cosy in here, which is exactly um, what I wanted it to do. Go, 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 go. Let's get you into bed. You can hear loads of fireworks going on this evening. Um, we are, we're off to see some tomorrow. Can't be bothered to cook, so we're just going to have them. Um, we're just gonna stick an all plants ready meal in the microwave. And enjoy Friday night telly. We've got morning show. We've got Google Box. I know um, the bonfire's gonna be Super big. Bon fact, well, I don't know. So, Delilah stayed at Doug's parents last Saturday. It was very last minute. Yeah. Where did you get that off you? Yeah. Pink. Okay, oh, that's going to be tricky. Um, and um, Doug's, Doug's parents wanted to take her to some fireworks and um, a bonfire. You did that, didn't you, last Saturday? Yeah. Oh, I can't get this off you, gorgeous. But yeah, I don't think there's going to be a bonfire tomorrow, but just lots of fireworks. But, mm -hmm. but, but, Bob did not. Good job. Super good reading. Sleep tight. Can I in the morning. see something? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, well, look, I've got some I need to put the camera, Doug. Yeah. Look, there we go. What a new vlogging spot. I want to order some Christmas trees like these ghosts, but a Christmas tree shape so it's slightly more festive and less. Halloween-y. I think they'd look really cute either over there, although once our tree is up, you won't see them. Um, we could also put them up here. Yeah, I'm actually um, in maybe a couple of vlogs time, I'm trying to work out. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe in a couple of vlogs, um, I thought it would be fun to show you a few, a few new Christmas um, ornaments, decorations. Currently battling with the Apple remote. We have a really old Apple TV. There we go. <laughs> And the remote, like, it's, it's a real struggle to go left and right. We were both just saying that um, we used to feel so far away from each other. Stop.
start of a new term this week which means we are all in a bit of a tangle here oh my goodness i'm knocking everything over good morning um it's the start of a new term which means we are back at ballet yeah delilah's already um so we're gonna head head there in a bit i'm trying to think if i'm going to vlog tomorrow as well the, the plan was to film yesterday and today i think i might just stick to the plan tomorrow tomorrow would be nice to film um but then maybe i need to save myself a little for um vlogmas and i do plan on filming next week very simple warm comfy outfit today so i literally i dusted this mirror a few days ago and it's covered this jumper is mango top underneath i, f I think it's is it? I think it's mango as well. I don't know why I'm showing you because I can't link either of them. <laughs> and it's not exactly the most exciting outfit of the day, is it? And these guys are playing Lego. I promised Delilah she could have one of these after ballet. One of these Jaffa Cake bars. I usually take a book, but I kind of want to take my Switch because there was the big update and it's made it really fun again to play although saying that i did i stopped playing it i didn't really play it in the summer um i didn't play it for a good few months but because it's been halloween and um autumn and at the moment it's all all the mushroom diys and then it's going to be christmas i've been really enjoying playing it again and i'm really excited about being able to grow more vegetables and to be able to cook recipes um, i'm going to take my book and my switch and i'll see i'll see how i feel put a few books up here i couldn't help myself um but i'm going to save the rest till next week because I, I do still need to paint i feel so silly being excited about am <laughs> about animal crossing i see i know so many of you enjoy it and i don't i so i isn't it meant to be scientifically proven to help with anxiety and to just I, I just i just find it fun to do i've always loved doing games like that even when i was um younger on the computer i used to play um like uh like coffee shop games and restaurant games strategy games i think they're called um but i do feel a bit i do feel silly enjoying it so much um at the age of almost 29. uh sausage we need to go there's been an accident so we are Stuck in traffic. I hope it's like there's three ambulances that just went past. But yeah, then we're, we're playing I Spy to pass the time. Yeah. Autumn leaves, well done. I Spy something green. Leaves. Yeah. <laughs> I Spy with my little eyes, something that color. We might not make it to ballet. Is that okay? Mm. We're not quite at the um, since. Delilah was little. We've played I Spy but with colours and we she's almost at the stage where we can do I Spy something beginning with and a letter. But we did try it the other day and it <laughs> got a bit confusing. I remember playing I Spy with my dad and um, I, I struggled a lot more than um, Delilah. Like Delilah's great with her um, with her sounds and her reading. Um, I struggled a bit more when I was um, her age. I used to get my m and, and n's, my m and n's, m and m and n's mixed up. I used to think napkin was a mapkin. I remember being in Pizza Hut with my dad, and he spent ages trying to figure out what I meant and um, what was beginning with the letter m. And we figured out that actually I meant napkin, and I didn't mean m. I meant n. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're going to make it to ballet. I haven't got much on my phone. I've just got those three games. Really glad I bought this now. Oh, you've been, oh goodness, I don't know, it's been like half, about half an hour now. I'm still waiting. <laughs> so I'm, I'm on my island. Two and a half hours later, and um, we um, started moving. We're all quite desperate for the loo and some food. I'm gonna run into B&Q because I want to pick up the paint for the shelves. So Am just I not going to go to bed? No, no gorgeous. We missed ballet a long time ago. Doug's been listening to the football. I've been playing on this. Delilah's been um, playing on a game on my phone. I was expecting to go home before going out again, so I haven't got my mask. We've got this one in the car, but these, these are too big for my face. But that'll do. Uh, 
I know what I want. Oh, there we go. This is what I need. I think it's this one I've used before. Oh my goodness. Christmas. Okay, thank you. You too. We are back fed and watered. I am feeling so sleepy. I think it's from I think it's from being sat in the car so long. I thought I would get on and do the first coat of paint. Dog's about to go off and take the sofa to the charity shop. Actually probably would have preferred to just buy um, the lick white paint because I'm pretty sure they do different types so I could have um, made it appropriate for the shelves. <laughs> But um, I didn't want to have to wait because I think there's a bit of a delay on delivery times at the moment. But it would have meant that I only needed to do one coat because their paint is just so... It's like we only did one paint in our bedroom as well. It goes on really nice and thick. I always find this bit really satisfying. Give it a good mix. Hopefully one of these rollers will be okay. I can't remember which one I used. Then I have this brush for cutting in it doesn't matter too much because i mean it really is just white shelves against a white wall do need to repaint a few patches um of the wall as well but i'll do that with um i'll do that another day baba <laughs> when did you do this i've got a lovely um, array of fruit and veg and tea quite like this vlogging spot I'm just going to use a brush though because it's they're so narrow. Lila's trying to watch Octonauts whilst I'm painting these. It's getting a bit blustery out there. The lights are on because Doug had to turn the um, electrics on to mow the lawn earlier. Can you see how fast the clouds are moving? Looks like we're going to have to wrap up very warm when we head out for fireworks in a bit. Gonna have to get some dinner on soon. Even though we all had our lunch about three hours later than we usually would. <laughs> So I'm not feeling very hungry. Mmm, are you feeling hungry? Right, what are we playing? I've been informed that we are playing... Um, sleep. Oh, pretend on the, on the cold floor. Yes. Pretending to sleep. Night, night, pretending to go sister. Oh, good night, sister. And then the baby got baby tooth falls out. And some fruit. Snug, you've got your, have you got your ear defenders, darling? Yeah, you've, you've got gloves. Can you take those as well then? Ooh. I've got... Ooh. I've got them, I silly. <laughs> Delilah's going to wear her snowsuit, which should fit her perfectly now. It's age four, but when we got it, she was about three or four, but it was huge on her. She's got her ear defenders, so it's not too loud for her. I've also got my earplugs because I, um, I've never liked fireworks like i like looking at them don't mind them when i'm in the house but when i'm right there i just i just find them too loud i'm um, always have always have done now I, when i was delilah's age i went to disneyland florida with my mum and my grandma and they will tell you how i screamed throughout the whole of the fireworks at the um at the disney castle i don't know why i've never thought to wear earplugs before we've got the tickets i've got everything cool Let's go, go, go. I've got my thermals on underneath my jeans. So I am very, very warm. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> you get your arms in, darling. This fits you really well now. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are we getting on? Not very well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's gone down. Trying to get a snowsuit on in the car interesting it's a bit rainy oh you're looking so cute look at you i have my whole body covered i know i'm so jealous you look so snug oh it's got a big one 